Okay, we've had the, um, the squid out of the freezer for maybe a um, half an hour. And now, while it's still frozen, it is important to cut the, the squid while it's still frozen. And the reason why it will become clear. Okay, a little bit of background material. Um, what you're looking at is a slab, a 28 pound slab of frozen squid. Um, after trying to uh, find a good source for squid, um, to make a long story short, the simplest and least expensive option was to get a 28 pound um, block of frozen squid. And um, I brought it home, took a picture of it, then I drop it into the ice chest to get cool, to uh, freeze uh, solid, so that I can do a controlled melt to break up the block and refreeze in more uh, usable quantities. We begin the process by slowly softening the squid so that the pieces can be broken off to break up the block. This is done by putting it into an ice chest where it'll slowly um, soften over time. Um, in the ice chest you see, it took about 12 hours before it started to be soft enough around the edges where I'd be able to start breaking off pieces to break it up. Using the heavy duty metal blade, um, I broke out the frozen squid around the edges, turning the big block and putting them in a bowl. As soon as I had enough frozen squid um, to repackage, I would wait, wait them out in one pound packs. And these packs were put in the freezer as I went, as I was slowly undoing the block so that uh, squid did not have a chance to melt out. This is a view of the average size of the squid. Uh, from the block from Fishing Factory 3 in Middletown, Connecticut. Here is the still frozen squid repackaged that went immediately back into the Mandel Defrost chest freezer. Um, and a word on freezers, everybody should be using a Mandel Defrost freezer for long-term storage of bait and fish and, and meat um, because they frost free freezer melts out the contents of the freezer every time it melts ice off the sides of the wall of the freezer and that melts your food and it, that's one of the reasons why they don't keep as long while there's these advisories not to keep certain types of stuff a certain length of time in the freezer but in manual defrost freezer it doesn't melt in addition um i turn my my Manual defrost freezers to maximum cold. Turn the knob until it stops. Uh, my freezers are freezer ranges between 16 below zero and 23 degrees below zero at the maximum setting. And the storage life of items in the freezer double every five degrees you go below zero. Um, I have no trouble keeping everything in my freezer for at least a year and it comes out just like new. Okay, once the squid is just starting to thaw is when I cut it up for porgy bait. Save the bag. First thing is I split the squid out into individual pieces. And then I just pull the head off, heads off and put them aside. The heads will be refrozen for uh, another application for squid bait. They will be refrozen.
Next. I slit each tube in half down the length. And since it's still frozen, the, the ink and center portion comes right out. And so we take out the ink, splitting all the squid tubes in half and taking it out while it's still frozen. Being frozen, it's very easy to remove. Okay, that was important to do quickly. We now have the, um, the, the ink part out quickly while it's still so solid and frozen. Now I can be a little more relaxed. I try and do that quickly. And now I cut the pieces into sizes to bait the number one hook on the porgy rig. There's no exact perfect way of doing this. I just kind of eyeball the, um, that's roughly the size. The tail section, I'll just kind of, again, cut it into a reasonable piece. The squid vary a bit size and thickness. If it's wide enough then I'll just cut it in half down the length and cut squares. If the wall of the tube is thick I'll make them smaller as they get thin as they do toward the end. I make them larger. Okay, it's not an exact science. And this has been pre-cut. Now this is the number one hook that I use on my rig. And what I do 
when I um, put on a piece of bait, I put the uh, white side down first and get that on the hook. Then I fold it back so that the dark is on the inside. And I put the, and that is a baited hook. Um, the fold of the dark on the inside puts the white on the outside, which may make it more visible to a porgy. And that is it. Now I will freeze this. I just say, you know, cut two, seven, twenty-two. That lets me know when I cut it. And this is ready to go out in the boat. Now, what I've noted is that so long as you keep the squid really cold, um, when you go out in the boat, keep it in the ice chest next to ice, really cold. At the end of a trip, I have refrozen the squid and taken it out. Um, I've actually done this twice. So, squid that had been um, cut and frozen immediately. Um, when I melt it out and keep it cold all day and then freeze it at the end of the day I've done this, I've had a, a squid out in the boat three times where um, it was uh, brought out twice frozen twice after I brought it home melted out and on the third trip on the boat uh, this squid was just as good as fresh cut squid the porgies didn't seem to care so I make sure I have cut enough to have on the boat to be more than enough for a day because it, it, there is no problem with squid. It does, loses no characteristics in terms of getting soft, uh, repeated refreezing and melting out just so long as you keep it really, really fresh.